Hello RallySim fans, today I'm going to show you how to update your RBR RSF installation to the newest version 4.0. The reason why we are doing a video on this is because in the version 4.0 the files were restructured and the game now takes a lot of less space. But that means we have to download a lot of new files, so yeah. I will show you now how to do the update. First step is you go to your RBR folder, then you go to the RSF installer files folder and here you actually just delete everything inside the folder. You can click one file, press Ctrl A and then you can do a shift delete combination on your keyboard. That means these files get permanently deleted. They don't get into the bin. Next up you go to the website rallysimfans.hu and here um, right now in the tutorial video you can't see the newest torrent file and the newest installer but you will see this once the video is live. So yeah, I have prepared these files in my explorer. So you need the newest Rally SimFans installer from the website and the new torrent file. The new torrent file is actually needed because uh, when we released the last torrent file, because the servers were overloaded with a lot of people downloading, and the problem now is the old torrent file did doesn't include every data of RSF. And that means with the installer we need to download more and more when more updates and everything comes out. So this torrent is just new and we will use it like for another one or two years I think to distribute the game to the players. So the first thing we do now is actually install or open Qubit Torrent. Uh, you can Google how to do this or watch my old tutorial. I will link it in the description of how to actually install RBR. Here um, we can click here file, add torrent file. Then we go to the actual torrent file where we have, where we have uh, saved it. And then it asks, where do you want to save it? And this is a very important step. Don't, really don't save it to RSF installer files. Because this way, you it will make another folder RSF installer files in RSF installer files. So, we just need to take the RBR folder. Where you have installed RBR. Just a plain RBR folder. Copy this here, the path, and then click OK. Then we wait a little bit, we have to press on all here. Now you can see it is actually downloading. Now it downloads all the files from some other people. So yeah, the tutorial will continue once the download is finished. Welcome back to the tutorial. Now we can see RSF installer files is seeding. That is actually when the download is finished. We can also see if we go down here in the content that everything is there. So yeah. Now you have two options, either pause the torrent and stop seeding it to other players or keep, just keep seeding it. It won't take a lot of upload to seed it and that is really recommended by the whole RSF community that you guys seed the torrent after you downloaded it and just let the qubit torrent client run in the background because this helps all new players to download the game faster. Torrent works like this. 
the, the files are on different PCs across the world, like on yours, on mine, on everyone's PC. And if you see it, someone is down. Let's say someone is downloading, the, or is downloading the files, and then it takes this file from this computer, this file from this computer. It it the load on the systems is just less, and the download is faster if more people are seeding. So it is really recommended. Thank you guys. So the next step of the tutorial is we go again to our folder with the files we downloaded from the Rally SimFans website. Now we have to run the Rally SimFans installer.exe. It needs actually admin privileges. That's, that's what I just clicked. And now it will continue the installation. Um, one step before you do this. It is just recommended by myself. Back up your RSF launcher settings. It will do a backup into RBR, backups, RSF backup, blah, blah, blah. That is pretty good if you yeah, if you just want to be safe that nothing goes wrong on the update. Do this before this. So yeah, we made a backup and now we click OK with the Rally Sim fans. Uh, it says you need to close this. That is also recommended. OK. Now we click Next. Make sure this is uh, the actual path of the game and this also the RSF installer files if they are really there normally it's correct by default we update the existing installation and we will yeah let's take also the test maps for me, I want all of them. Like it's uh, now only se 87 gigabytes. Before the game was like 150 gigabytes, so that is a lot better. Can even do the code run. Ah, I, don't I don't think I need them. Okay. So yeah. Now we click on next. Oh, I don't have enough space. I will quickly clear that and then be back into the tutorial. Welcome back. I cleaned the space to have enough space. Make sure you have enough space and then you can just continue anyway. You don't have to restart it. Just make really sure you have enough space on the drive. So yeah, we click through. This is actually the cleanup process. It will it will clean all the old files, files you don't need. And it can take up to 40 to 60 minutes. That's uh yeah. You can take a coffee now. Now hit install. This can take actually a very long time. I will pause the video recording and be back once it's finished. Welcome back to the tutorial again. When the setup is actually done, it is showing this window. And now we can actually click on finish. I hope the tutorial actually helped you and you are you were able to update the installation. And um, I want to show you something and this really is a hard project for me. I actually want to start rallying. I made a GoFundMe and a pretty cool video 
about why I want to do it, what I have already done and stuff like that. So yeah, any support would be appreciated. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye bye.